we have advances in science related to the fact that we've had good mentors and we make our new discoveries with our colleagues. Marshall Nirenberg was uh, incredible to work with. He took the strategy of using biochemistry to evolve the genetic code and did it very successfully with very novel assays. The first of which is what we referred to in the lab as the unisucker. And it was a device that enabled us to decipher the triplet code. I made my first discovery, original discovery, uh, in Marshall's lab. I'd failed at an experiment came up with a new idea. Marshall said, well, it might work, Tom, why don't you try it? Well, we tried it, and we were able successfully to identify the two proteins that were able to recognize the triplet terminators and to work out the biochemical mechanisms that engaged the ribosome to be able to release the finished peptide by the peptidyl transferase of protein synthesis. I have one mentor story that was special to me. Uh, I invited Marshall Nirenberg to give a Texas Medical Center lecture. And as we planned it, he asked me to arrange an appointment with my MD, PhD student, Bill Cragen. Bill had cloned and sequenced the two protein release factors following their isolation by expression cloning, and he discovered frame shift translation regulation. This was later discovered also in SV40 by Harold Barmos. Furthermore, he found that R1 terminated R2 and vice versa, R2 R terminated R1. It was a perfect scientific loop. Marshall trained me, my student trained Marshall. It was the best of times.